My wife cheats on me every time I go to work. Hi guys. Me and my wife live on a sailboat and once a month I have to travel for work. The jobs last three days normally and that's enough for us to both live on. I recently started noticing this same boat would pull into whatever anchorage we were in a couple days before I would leave and then the boat would leave the day I arrived back. I arrived home early last job and couldn't get hold of my wife to pick me up at the docks I sorta called her out on it. She broke down in tears and said she was so sorry and that nothing sexual ever happened and she had just made a friend and she would never contact him again and their friendship was over. Now I'm back at work for the weekend and go check the webcam from the marina I'm staying in and lo and behold guess whose boat is tied up right next to ours. I know she's cheating but when asked she denied it. What do I do? Leave her. Period. She's lying to you. Which means she no longer respects you or the sanctity of your marriage. Get a lawyer without telling her and start the divorce process? Divorce? Ditch someone who doesn't know what loyalty means. It won't end well. If you let that slide same thing will happen imminently in spite of all those counterfeit tears in repentance. I don't believe that she had, nothing sexual, nor should you. Divorce her and move on. Get an STD test and leave. Make her walk the plank. You leave bro. Get a divorce lawyer. And let her know it's over. She's got no respect for you or your home bringing someone in there all sneaky like that. So there is now no trust in the relationship. She is lying to you. And will probably gaslight you and love bomb you soon enough. If you don't know those terms. Look them up. The cheater is the cheater. Whether was a man or woman they always started crying and telling you that it won't happen again. And whatever to keep you with them. What you have to do is dump her and find a woman that really love you and respect you. Call her, tell her when his boat leaves she better be on it. Then file for divorce. You own a boat. The ocean is big. How is this still a problem? She's 100% lying to you. You should get yourself a lawyer and an STD test she can go live elsewhere. Get a lawyer. Don't accept trickle truth they've done stuff. Physical stuff. No guilt trips. Cheating was her choice. She either didn't love and respect you enough to not cheat or even worse looked at you and everything she had and decided that his chode was worth more. She ain't sorry she did it. She's sorry you found out and she could lose her comfort because of that. Don't let her put it on you. There were so many options to fix any problem in your relationship. She chose to work through those problems with him instead of you. If you do go for divorce no more intimacy no matter how in the mood you are. No booze either. Behind her smiles are a knife for your back. Behind every tear-filled eye a calculator working out what she can take from you. You have a thing to leave with. Use it. The witch can live in her lover's boat. Divorce? Easy. You divorce her and move on. That nothing sexual ever happened. Really. What are the odds that this guy just sails around behind you to drink tea and play poker with your wife when you're gone? You don't have to have pictorial proof of her cheating to know she's cheating and divorce her. Let's look at it logically. You know already that she's a liar. You know she's doing something with this other guy. You know whatever she's doing it's enough for him to sail around tailing you. Given the facts. Why bother staying with a cheating liar? What can she possibly say that would persuade you that what you know is going on isn't going on?
break up with her, divorce her, and find another crew member who likes you enough to be honest with you. I am so sorry you are going through this. The pain of infidelity has almost no equal. There is no easy or short path out of this. Even if you end your marriage there will be a lot healing to be done. Right now I'm sure it feels like your life and future are one big black hole. Stare too much and you feel like you're being pulled inside never-ending pain. As much as I appreciate this sub, I would recommend you pursue R. Surviving Infidelity on this issue. The advice you receive there will be from others who have stood in your shoes. Here is some mistakes to try avoid as you begin your journey. That site has tons of resources to help guide you as well. I recommend looking around to see what will help you most. Good luck. Leave her and she can live with the new guy on his boat. If you stay, you are showing signs of being being a weak person. And maybe that's why she cheated on you. How do you expect someone else to respect you when you don't respect yourself? You tell her you're working. Wait a day and a half. Go back to your boat and sail off. She wanted him. Now she'd got him. And you can negotiate from a position of strength. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.